Alrighty guys, oh, welcome, welcome. This is your host, ID Jester. Welcome back. We are going to be unboxing Normandy, The Beginning of the End by Draco Ideas. This is a game that uh, is part of the Warstorm series. We did a live unboxing the other day for the first game, or actually it was the second game. The first game, I believe, was Los... Los Ambros, something like that. Hey, Tony, how you doing? Good to see you, my friend. Um, so we did a, uh, so that was the Spanish Civil War, of Los Barracaros, or something similar to that. Anyways, um, then this game came out, Paz to Hell, Operation Barbarossa, and then this game came out, Normandy, the beginning of the end. So this is like the third of the Warstorm series of games. So we're going to uh, do a live unboxing and check it out for you guys and show you what you can expect. So uh, let's take the uh, shrimp wrap off of this and then we'll uh, show you a little bit more about the game here. There we go. Get that off of there. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Alrighty, so people like unboxings, I hear, so I'm willing to uh, do live unboxing for you guys. So, obviously, um, D Day Invasion, uh, Normandy. <clears throat> I'm not going to read the whole box there, but uh, basically, it does have Spanish and English uh, on here. This is the English edition, so that's good. So there we go, and it does have a nice little picture at the bottom here of everything. Ooh, it's inside the box, which is kind of cool, but we're going to check that out for ourselves. Draco Ideas, Normandy, the beginning of the end. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. So will set this over there. So, Standard Rules, version 2, yes. All right, so uh, Paths to Hell. Um... You see, I got them all done and put in a nice little container. Paths to Hell actually came with version one of the rule book, so I'm very happy to get version two of the rule book. You can download those, which I did, and you can um, uh, you can download the version two. I think I got them from uh, BBG, and uh, yeah, so. Uh, but it's good to get the nice color booklet, um, so I don't need to download and print them out. So that's going to be very helpful. So this is a nice thick book. We're talking 47 pages. Alrighty. This looks like it has some good information here. It's all color. And goes through some air units. Special platoon actions, rubble, observation posts, different uh, obstacles, AT ditches, platoon bridges, blah, blah, blah. Coast assault armor, armor officers. I'm just looking at some of the titles here. Tank destroyers, amphibious tanks, special units. And that is all like in the back section. So this is must be like the advanced rules or special rules. Um, oh, okay. So now, yeah. This, so this is um, this is this this rule book is written in programmed instructions. So you you read a little bit of it, and then you play a couple of scenarios. Then you read a little bit more, add some more of what you learn into the game mechanics. So that's what this is. This is a break. Uh, and it says you can now try scenarios one and two again, but this time try to assault and seize the enemy positions. So you must learn about that. And then, of course, we're going to learn about AFVs and special units, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then again, stop, try scenario three and four, et cetera. Uh, so you can see good color explanations, 
good charts. All looks really good. Rallying scenarios. I read a bunch of this uh, from the rules I downloaded. I didn't print it out because I was kind of hoping that the version 2 rules would be in this um, box, and it was, so that makes me very happy. Uh, morale, of course. Routing. Uh, good. This is a good detailed explanations of um, a good example of play and how reactions work, uh, which is one of the key elements to this series, to this system, is reaction fire. So uh, officers, attack resolutions, uh, line of sight examples. This is always, always helpful. I did my own tutorial videos back in the day, basically with the same format. This is a very good way of teaching people line of sight examples when you're talking about multiple levels. So this is very good. Most tactical war games should have something similar to that in their rule book. Uh, line of sight examples. Again, more detailed how things... How do you see things from multiple levels? Um, so that is very, very good. Made very much sense to me because I, I incorporate this into the what I call the Grand Canyon rules. So the Grand Canyon rule is basically unless you're standing at the edge of the Grand Canyon, you just can't see down into it. So this guy over here at the edge can't see down into it because he's not at the very edge of the Grand Canyon. So... Uh, this guy here is at the edge of the Grand Canyon, so he might be able to see different things, and uh, it shows you how and why. Uh, your different terrain effects, and there it is. So good, good version two of the rules. Again, you can download these for free from uh, some of the websites out there. So here is the Normandy exclusive rules. So these are rules that just deal with, obviously, the Normandy invasion. This book is, uh, let's see here. Um, it's really only 10 pages. There is a, a page that's just uh, an overlay for mines. Uh, it talks about, oh, creating your own point base scenarios. So how much each different unit's worth point-wise. Cool, so you can design your own scenarios, which I love to do. It's one of my favorite things to do, actually. Uh, it talks about rhinos. It talks about airborne drop land, amphibious assaults, gullies, irritation dishes, shingles, and cliffs, sand beaches, obviously, because we're in Normandy. Bocage. U.S. Rangers, DD tanks. So special rules for Normandy, about six, page, six or eight, uh, I think it was nine pages is what we said. So good looking manuals there. So yay. So far, very impressed. And over here, so we have our overlay sheet. One-sided. And you're going to cut these out and overlay them on your maps. Cool. One page. Two pages, you will have to cut these out with scissors, or don't use scissors, guys. Why, why they show scissors, don't use scissors. Get yourself a good X-Acto knife, right? Get yourself a good X-Acto knife. Get yourself a nice mat. Uh, one of these uh, rotary mats you can find. And then you can cut, you know, much more detailed, easier that way. So... Don't use scissors. <laughs> uh, I'll cut these out later. All right, so one sheet of these. Two sheets of overlays, nice. And then a third sheet, but this one looks like it's just one big, big one. So this is going to be a big hill overlay on one of the maps. Of course, we have our scenarios here. Scenario one and two. So they are one page per scenario. Uh, scenario three and scenario four, scenario five and six, seven and eight, and eight B, 
and 8C. So I wonder if scenario 8 is like a mini campaign. Interesting. We'll have to find out about that. Then we have uh, scenario 9 and 10, 11 and 12, and the counterattack Akiratin scenario and scenario 13 on the back. Oh, this is scenario 12. This is this must be the continuation of scenario 12 there with random reinforcements or something. That's cool. All right, and then scenario 13 and 14. Uh, 14B, 14C, and then campaign rules for 14, 15, uh, 14A, B, and C, and then scenario 15A, 15B, 15C, and some special rules to go along with those three scenarios. 16, wow, a lot of scenarios. 17, combat chart, two of those, it looks like. Uh, no, actually... Uh, there is only one copy so far. So combat charts, hand-to-hand -hand chart, infantry and weapon assault values, odds charts, aerial attack charts, casualty charts, off ball artillery, air location, spawning charts, smoke charts, penetration charts for American and German, different charts, which is nice. They don't just use the same one. With some special rules for some of the different uh, units. Uh, vehicle assault charts, and I'm not sure what this chart is. I think this is mm, assault of armor support. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure. You got your train effect chart, two sided there. So. Uh, there's your bocage. Of course, you got uh, foot, wheeled, and tracked, and your defensive fire values. Then you got your battalion morale charts, and your. Uh, it says the same thing, probably in Spanish, though. I'm thinking it's Spanish. Could be Italian, maybe, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Another battalion motor morale chart. All right, let's get to the heart of it now, boys and girls. Let's get to the heart of it here. What do we have? Ooh. So, unlike uh, Paths to Hell, and yes, I hate to keep going back to this one, but I'm going to, because it's my show. Uh, these were uh, thin, kind of uh, papery maps, as you can see, right? I mean, they're... They're not cardstock, but they're not like paper paper, but they're kind of thin, flimsy. These are much more thick. You can hear, this is like, um, you know, it's not, it's heavier than cardstock. It's, uh, what, what's, what would be a good, um, uh, you know, it'd be like a box. You know, box, like you're putting something in a box. That's about the thickness. You can see how thick it is there. Pretty nice, thick size. We have map A, one-sided. And we have map B, one-sided. I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like. If I can get it to focus. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. All right. We have map C, single sided. Map D, single sided. Let's see if we can get a zoom in on this one a little bit. There we go. Nice looking rivers. Orchards, bocage, some buildings, swamp hexes. Very nice. All right, uh, and that is uh, MD1. 
So this is a, ha, it's not even quite a half board. See, it does. it's not the same size as the other ones. It's the same. So maybe, you know, something, you know, maybe it's just going to extend the map somehow a little bit. Oh, baby, here we go. Same thing with this. This is just, uh, these. so these two are just little map boards, single-sided. But uh, I see uh, some beans, some water. I see a landing. Maybe, you know, something like that. All right. Or maybe, maybe something like, let's see. Uh, maybe something like that. Who knows what it'll end up being, but... So uh, two of those map boards single-sided. It's interesting they're not as wide as the other boards. You would think they would be, you know, the same, you know, area. So they're definitely, in, they can go side by side, right? They can go side by side. But they can't go this way. So they're going to have to, you know, they're going to have to connect down on one of the ends. Interesting. Okay. Anywho, what else we got? We got some counters. Wow. Just look at these. They're not super glossy, which is really nice because one of the one of the problems I have as a YouTuber is putting things on my table and having it be so glossy all you guys get is a big glare in your face, which I don't like. There's not much I can do about it. So not having super glossy reflective counters is actually pretty nice. So let's, uh, let's show you guys a few of these counters, see what you guys think. I think these counters even look better um, than the Paths to Hell counters. Seems like the infantry units are, like, doing something. I think the... The paths to hell, they were kind of just standing there. These guys are, you know, at least moving or running or crouching down, you know, or something like that. There's some leaders there. Let's see if we can zoom in on the leaders. There's the leaders. They look good. All right. Nice. So, obviously, a lot of Americans. And, of course, the German... Let's see here what's the German look like. The leaders. This looks like the Waffen SS over there. Yep, it says Waffen SS on it. Usually they're usually in black, and then their regular German army is in gray, and then usually the Luftwaffe units are in like a a bluish gray. So it looks like. Uh, let's see what does this say here. Yeah, airborne. See. <laughs> What did I tell you? Blue is gray. Almost like I know what I'm talking about. Almost like I know what I'm talking about. So you see that uh, leader there. Hipt. Botfort. B-O-T-T-O-R-F. But Botfort. He's going to be a leader for uh, airborne there. Interesting. Oh, all right. Of course, you got your admin counters. All right. We have our American. Yeah, these are bigger counters too. Three four. I bet you these are three fourths inch counters. Nice. Three fourths inch counters. M four A one. M fours. Uh, what else do we have? Let's see here. Oh, priests, Hellcats. Some anti tank weapons there. Greyhound. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. M1919A4. Machine guns. Looks like we got a few Canadian units, or what are these? Normally they're Polish units. 
are usually the blue on the ally side, but I'm not sure what could be French, but I don't think they're French. I'm not sure what they are. Hmm. And of course, can't go anywhere without the Germans causing problems, right? So they got all kinds of cool things. Cool. Stug. Stug 4s. Studicop 222s. Uh, Stug 3Gs. Panzer 4s. Let's see what else they have here. Panzer 5s. Oops. Went out of focus just as I saw the Panzer 5. There's a Panzer 5. And the Panzer 6i, 6-1. The Marauders. Yeah, they got some big boys here. Machine guns. 105 millimeters. 150 millimeters. 75 millimeter packs. Uh, 8 centimeter mortars. Machine gun 42. MG 42s. What else do they have here? Flak 36s. Seventy-five millimeter packs. Whoo! That's uh, that's uh, really, really good. Now I think these are the counter set. Yeah, they just kind of, they just kind of um, come right out of the thing, just like the Paz to Hell did, which is nice. So you don't have to clip them as much. Might be a few that you're going to need to uh, trim the edges on. But you can see if I just take these off, there's... You see there's like a little bit of... A little bit on a couple of them that you could trim off. But if you're not that worried about it, you don't have to. I'll probably end up trimming or... Uh, uh, rounding all the corners on these, but pretty good to punches them out. Pretty good punch out on them. Probably end up trimming them, but yeah, they're gonna leave a little, few little, few little fuzzies on the corners. So you can gauge for yourself if that's acceptable or not you know this might this might be something where you just take your little exacto knife and just cut that little corner off cut that little corner off cut that little corner off and you're done boom you know or you know use your professional cutter corner cutter if that's something uh we have two dice black and green uh and little place to hide your counters underneath all the other uh, and then put your mats and stuff or your rules and, and maps on top of it so there you go it is uh, let's see um, six isomorphic maps three sheets of overlays three five sheets of counters there's three five eighths inch and two of three fourths inch Standard rules and exclusive rule book. 23 scenarios, because some of those scenarios are multiple A, B, and C's. So a total of 23 scenarios. Three chart cards, two battalion chart cards, and two six-sided dice. Uh, complexity, 1 to 10, is about a 5. It's right in the middle. And then solitaire is probably a 6 out of 10 for solitaire suitability we're going to find out how the solitaire works because i plan on doing some solitaire um probably going to be doing the normandy i wanted to get uh past the hell because this one is out of print and if you're looking for this game you better get it now because the price of these are going to go up um, cause they're, you know, like I said, it's out of print. 
So I wanted to get one of these for sure, and then I came across the Normandy one and picked that up. Um, so you, you can pick up the Normandy one from all your favorite retailers online. Hopefully they'll have it. If not, just uh, type in buy Normandy, the beginning of the end, and it, it'll take you to some websites that have it. Well, there you go, guys. That is our live unboxing. Five counter sheets, two of the big ones, three of the little ones. Of course, you got your admin counters. And then your pretty thick maps, I'll tell you. And just just if we were to put, uh, we'll just get two of them, put them side by side here so you can see the size. So you guys have a pretty good idea of the box size, right? So if I was to just move the box out of the way for a second, or more out of the way, I guess. <laughs> Uh, get this out of the way. Put that out of the way for a minute. Oh, I got my dice under there. So here's going to be about the size. Um, that is going to be... Very doable. A two-map scenario, pretty doable. Not going to take up a ton of space. Obviously a single map. Whoop. It's not going to, you know, take up half as much space, obviously, but. Definitely doable. All right, guys, there you go. Normandy, the beginning of the end by Draco Ideas. Pick it up at all your favorite online realtor or realtors. How about um, all your favorite online game stores? Make sure you get the English edition because because it says in English, I believe they come out in Spanish as well. Looks like the designer is Juan Carlos Sebrayan and Nicholas Ubinski. So, um, yeah, because of their names, I just believe that there's probably a Spanish or French or Italian edition or something other than English. So make sure you... Make sure you get the English edition if you're looking for the English edition. But I'm looking forward to giving this one a try. This one looks really, really good. The quality of the components, you know, I have to give them a plus on that. Um, the looks, you know, the looks, the thickness of them, very nice. Um, you know, how well the system plays, we'll find that out when we play. The good color rule books, which are awesome. The charts are nice and thick. Um, you know, your scenario cards are nice and thick, as you can hear. And scenario number one, you're going to just take, uh, uh, looks like it's one map, six turns, uh, eight turns, ten turns. I'm just trying to give you like a length. Here's a single map, single map. Uh, here's a two mapper B and C 10 turns, a two mapper that's six turns. So, I mean, there's good variety, plenty of, uh, plenty of things for you to do. Normandy, the beginning of the end. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you all next time. Thanks for coming on by.